For reporting and reconciliation with storable payments, you need to use MyHub. To go to MyHub, you're going to go in any browser that could be on a computer, tablet, smartphone. The address would be myhub.sitelink.com. Once you go to MyHub, in the upper right-hand corner, you're going to go to the Corporate Control Center side. Log in to the corporate side. Once logged in, you will click on Payments, and we have Transactions and then credit card deposits and fees. For transactions, you can enter the last four digits of a credit card to look up that particular transaction. So for example, if I typed in 1557 and then clicked apply, it would show us the one transaction that had those last four digits. By default, the start and end date will be for the respective month. At the time of recording this video, it is May 6th, so it's showing us from May 1st to May 6th. If it was May 31st, it would show us the full month. If we chose the start date of May 1st and then the end date as May 4th and then clicked apply, it would show us the four days in this example rather than the, up to the current date, which happens to be the 6th or the full month. For facilities, we can choose each facility that we have or the default is all facilities. Again, click apply to see a respective site or all sites. So again, that was one site. If we click the little X and we click apply, now we have all facilities. You can export the information. Click export on the right hand side. Then it creates an XLSX file, an Excel file, which you can open. Once in the Excel file, we have different columns, the date of the transactions, along with the time, the facility code, the cardholder name, the payment type, Visa, MasterCard, American Express, the last four of the credit card, the transaction amount, the status, the transaction type. If there was a refund, we'd have a refund payment transaction ID, transaction ID, and then authorization code. Our default view, we have the facility code, payment date, who it was paid by, the payment method, the process amount, and status. For status, if we have approved, you will see approved immediately when the payment has been taken. At 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time, that will move to be captured. The following day, that transaction is settled at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. The next day, or two days after the initial payment, you will see that typically in your bank, it will be deposited. If a transaction didn't go through, you will see the status of failed. The next option is the credit card deposit and fees. Again, we have a start and end date of the full month. At the time of recording, we're at the sixth, so we're seeing the first through the sixth. The default view is all facilities, but you can choose it by site. Click apply to make that change. When we see our deposit, this is the total deposit of all of your transactions. So for example, on May 5th, the deposit amount was $592.86. This is not net of fees. In other words, this is literally the amount that was taken that was deposited. If we click view on the right hand side, this is showing us the payments that happened on the 4th in this case. We had a payment of $500, another payment of $92.86. This is without fees being taken out. So the total amount that you're going to see is $592.86. This really helps with reconciling because we know that if we took in X amount of dollars, in this case $592.86, you or the accounting person on your team is going to be looking for that exact same amount two days later in your bank. If we go back to the initial screen, it's important to note that the deposit date range is from 9.30 to 9.30. So if we took payments from 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time on the 4th through 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time on the 5th, that is going to be one deposit amount. It's very important to recognize that it's from 9.30 to 9.30. If you are in California, it would be 6.30 to 6.30 because it's 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time that this relates to. The second tab is fees. The fees are going to come out once a month. On the first of the month, you're going to see your statement available in MyHub in the corporate control here through the fees section. 
you can certainly click view on the right hand side to see that the monthly period for May 1st had total fees and what those fees represented below under the fee name. On the fifth of the month, that includes weekdays and holidays, the payment is automatically initiated. This is an ACH payment that will take three to five days to process. Again, you'll be able to see on the first the total monthly fees. You can break them down fee by fee to see the breakdown, but it's going to be one monthly set of fees. On the first, on the fifth of the month, that's when the payment is going to be initiated. And then three to five business days later, if successful, the payment will be visible in your merchant account. On this first of the month, you're going to see a new record with a statement total. This will be marked as unpaid because it won't be paid out until the fifth of the month. This list shows the history of all previous statement amounts. Each facility is also listed. So in this particular case, we have two facilities and this is the total fees for each facility. And then we can click view to view fee breakdowns. In this case, we have a discount fee, interchange fee, and then authorization fee. If you have questions relating to any of your fees, absolutely reach out to merchant support. It's also important to recognize that this is the place that you need to go to reconcile. You may be used to other reports, including the daily deposit report and site link or daily payments among others. Because we're doing a 9.30 to 9.30 deposit time frame that is different than the calendar day basis that you would see in your typical site link reports. So by going to this set of screens under payments, we can look at our deposits from a 9.30 to 9.30 time frame, which will be matching your bank. We certainly can look at the transactions for a calendar date range. If we need to view that, we certainly can export it from here. But the simple question of where do I see the amounts that are hitting my bank is going to be from a 9.30 to 9.30 time frame. And this credit card deposits and fees section will let you break that down.